people love me because I help them. I trust them. I've... Oh, it's you. Mmm, that's fantastic. Are you okay? Go away. No, I want you. But you'll get angry if you're here. So you gotta go. You know I'll do what you want. Okay. I... I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? Are you gonna hurt me now? Cause you should. Lady, you got darkness on the brain. I, I think I can help you if I can get the lights on in here. You can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So, where shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on? Accidentally. It's the big building on the other side of the drive-in. But it's locked. Where's the key? Just so that I know to avoid it. It's... It's on the wall, next to the cash register. But you can't. You can't. Don't be bad. Hey, no problem. I'm just gonna go do some other stuff. Scout's honor. Mm. <laughs> just try to stay calm. I I've seen this kind of thing before. I think you're gonna be okay. Why did I... Why is it so hard to think? You've been touched by darkness. It's... I'm hoping it's not permanent. Remember when you were here before? And you kissed me? And then everything got all dark? That was the best. Listen, this is very important. Where did he... I mean... Where did I go? Can you tell me that? Baby, you don't need to go anywhere. You're here now. And you're in my head. You should be in me. You should touch me again. Not with a ten-foot pole, lady. Hey, just in case there's a part of you in there that's freaking out right now, it's not your fault. I promise I'll do what I can to help you, okay? I... I don't... Please go away. Don't sweat it. I'm just saying that in case you really need to hear it, I've been there. I... I think there are spiders in my eyes. I think you put them in me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go now. And we're back with old gods of Asgard and their manager, Barry Wheeler. Guys, you're on your comeback tour, and you're playing a lot of your classic material, but you've also got a new single out, right? How'd that come about? Was it hard to go back into the studio after such a long time? Are you kidding me? They were chomping at the bit. They were just itching to stretch those creative muscles. Now, it had been a while because, uh, you know, they, they spent a lot of time in, uh... Retirement. We were retired. We were? Yeah. No, 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 no. We were at the lodge, and, uh... We escaped. We were at the retirement uh, thing. Retirement thing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, really, once we got in the studio, things started happening. Now, the music has changed a little bit, and the boys were a little rusty. So it took us a while to find the right gear. But hey, once we got going, whoo, boy, they kicked ass. And it's an awesome song. It's called Balance Slays the Demon. And seriously, I think it's their finest work. And hey, I should know, I produced it. Oh, really? I didn't know you were a producer. Well, this was my first time. I mean, they needed a little bit of guidance, you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, these guys are the best. But it's the 21st century, man. Things just sound a little different these days. So, you know, I kind of stepped in there, helped them make it sound all cool, kind of jazzed it up. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Oh, no, it was really easy, man. I was just, you know, like, hey, give it a little zing, you know? Let's take it to another level so it really rips. Uh, no, let's just throw some really sweet synths in, like that, you know, just kicked it up a notch, but it's totally Old Gods. Well, listeners, you can judge for yourselves. Here's Old Gods of Asgard, and Balance Slays the Demon. Oh, yeah. Deep in the ocean of darkness.
The man has encountered this before. People whose integrity has been suborned by the insidious touch of the darkness. He has experienced it himself, but merciful light burned away the darkness in his brain. My right ear's block got worse. I didn't sleep much anymore. My life with Alice seemed like a constant fight. I was a wreck. Alice took steps. She booked a vacation in Bright Falls, a small town in Washington. It was supposed to be a chance to break out of the cycle I was in. She didn't know about the darkness in Cauldron Lake. Good. The car seemed to sail through the crisp mountain air in slow motion, spinning around one axis almost lazily. The moment was hypnotic. Then it struck the pipeline in a shower of sparks, the impact turning the windshield into a burst of safety glass. As it hit the ground, I snapped out of my reverie. The car was rolling downhill, slowing down as every bump killed momentum but still coming. The fence wouldn't be enough to stop it. Oh, 
look! Mr. Hero's here! You ready to save the day? You're gonna shit yourself when you realize what I've done. Shut up! My wife. 
the best thing that ever happened to me. She smiles and the darkness lifts. For her, I tried things I otherwise never would. I've never really minded if it's made me feel like a fool. She's a photographer, and the world she sees through her lenses is unique and beautiful. She has the vision. She sees things others don't and knows how to make them visible to everybody. She did it with me, too. She teased out things I was only vaguely aware of. She always saw me in the best possible light. Okay, I should be able to figure this out. I have no idea how badly you're screwed. It's gonna be a blast to watch you find out. Don't get hit by those. 